Hey there, fans. Welcome to beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. We're just getting set for today's matchup to kick off Peach Belt Conference play between Alabama Huntsville and, of course, your Flagler Saints. Both teams coming into play today sitting at 4-6. and six. Flagler coming off a heartbreaking loss to the Mavericks of Colorado Mesa where they lost 12-11. to 11. Dug themselves in a bit of a hole. Were able to get four or five goals in the fourth quarter, but it wasn't enough to come back in that one. So hoping to reverse their fortunes here against the Chargers of Alabama Huntsville. Like we said, they're also four and six, the gentlemen from Rocket City. They're coming off three straight losses, the most recent to Lewis back on March 23rd. They lost by a score of 13 to 10. And as both teams make the field, a few players to watch for each team's not starting for the Saints, but of course, Trace McDonald had six goals and three assists in the last contest against Colorado Mesa. And then on the other side for the Chargers, going to be looking out for Pete Fabrizio, leads the team in points with 29 on the season. And then Kyle Light, number zero on the attack. So both teams lining up at the center. We're just about set to get going here in St. Augustine. And as a reminder for the fans at home, it is senior day, so Flagler going with a little bit different of a starting lineup. Of course, we have Nate Lear in goal, the junior from Shenango Bridge, New York. And on the other side, for the Chargers, it's going to be Tommy Peer, the freshman in goal. He's had a decent season for them as well. Split time with Will Bed Beldner, excuse me. And the keepers shake hands, and we are just about set to get going here. So for, for the Saints, it's going to be Matt Matriga on the faceoff. On the opposite side for the Chargers, Ty Cassidy, the freshman from Rogers, Minnesota. On the wing, at long stick midi, Logan Patrick for the Saints in addition to Paxton Kroll at midfield. So the ball is down. We are set for the first faceoff, and we are underway. Matriga wins it himself, works it back into the defensive zone for the Saints, and they will work on the clear to bring it into their offensive zone. A very clean clear there. Logan Tobias working it down low. He works it to... Garrett Shaw, another player to watch on the attack for the Saints. The Saints working it around, getting it back up top to Antonis Makuzis. And it's going to be Ant on the dodge, going down the alley with the right, works it behind the cage. Looking to feed, they'll work it back to the midfield. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Shaw dodging, defended very nicely by Will Castle of the Chargers. Oh, and a miscommunication there as Devin Carter was unable to catch it, but does corral the ball himself. And now with 15 on the shot clock, we'll see Antonis Makuzis dodge again, works it behind the cage. McNulty is lit up, and the ball ends up in the stick of number 24, Will Bond, on the defense for the Chargers. So they get their first stop, and they will go on the clear. They work it on up to Dorncott. And now it's Pete Fabrizio. Like we mentioned, Fabrizio and now Kyle Light, the two main players to watch on offense for the Chargers. There's David Friend working with Light up top. Light being defended by John Kersey. Kersey pushes him down the alley. And Light will back it out. Works it back to Fabrizio. Now it's Ian Arndt. Drops it for a second. Is able to get possession back. Defended by Paxton Kroll. The short stick. The shot. And he scores. Diving across the crease. It's Ian Arndt. Went with the face dodge there. And was able to beat Paxton Kroll on the inside. And there's not much that Nate Lear can do about that one when you're one-on-one -on -one with 
the midfielder. And just like that, the Chargers, with 12.53 to play in the first quarter, are out to a 1-0 lead. So the Chargers, they wanted to get downhill early, got it into restraining, already dodging, and that's going to be the key for them, get these quick goals. Flagler's going to try and spread them out, slow them down, wait for them to make a mistake. And they're looking for a hold there. Yeah, they're going to say Matt Matriga held. So possession will go to the Chargers. Sam Coffey, the LSM, defers to Kyle Light. Light defended up top by Matt Gick. Gick forcing back left. Great save by Lear. The ball bounces around. And unable to pick it up is Jake Schramm. And the ball is picked up by Parker Collins. And Collins takes it himself on the clear. We're going to back the long stick midi there. That was Matt Gick on the shot. Ended up being a nice possession shot. So Flagler will retain possession. And it's Trace McDonald behind the goal. We mentioned McDonald, six goals, three assists in the last loss to Colorado Mesa. So the offense certainly going to be running through him. And a collision there. The ball's on the turf. And we have our first flag. And it is picked up there. This time it's Tyler Douglas able to get the ball out of that scrum. They work it up top, the shot, and he scores! Tanner Sims! Tanner Sims, so a great job by Douglas there to win the ground ball, get it up to McDonald, and McDonald always looking. He finds Sim on, Sims on the crease, excuse me, and we are all knotted up at one apiece. So they called the flag. We'll see what the determination is, if they'll just be picking it up. Right now we have a stick check on Garrett Shaw, so that'll delay things just a bit here. So while they deliberate, can't say enough about the job there of Douglas picking up the ground ball. There was a scrum of about three Saints and three Chargers, but he immediately works it out, gets it to Trace McDonald. And the stick check comes back. Shaw is okay. And it looks like the penalty is going to be locked in. So the Saints will be man up on this faceoff. We see Willie Bateman, the midfielder, on the far side all alone. So you wonder if Matriga is just going to try and work it back to him. And Matriga does work it back to him. Oh, and they're going to say a false start there. And so the Chargers will have possession on the man down. They work it over to Arndt. And a nice check there. That was Willie Bateman getting it out of his stick. And now four Saints all surround Ian Arndt. The ball's still on the turf being kicked around, and Trace McDonald all alone gets it as it kicks over to him. And the Saints will go on the power play. So it's McDonald at goal line extended. He takes it behind the cage. The Saints setting up the man, on, man up offense. Excuse me. We see Macuza's with it now. And the shot, oh, save there. McDonald was looking inside there to Luke Burton. Burton unable to finish on that quick stick attempt. So now the Chargers will go on the clear. Not in a hurry whatsoever. Trying to just kill this penalty and working it up. They get it to Kyle Light, who will take it past restraining. And the Chargers have possession. Light being defended by Matt Gick. And it's Paxton, Paxton Kroll, excuse me, on Jake Schramm. Schramm dodging left. He spins it around, gets back up top. They work it over to Kyle Light. 
Light going down the alley, Gick forcing him down. Works behind the cage to David Friend. Friend with Walker Smith on him. Smith doing a nice job of defending him. They're trying to get it to the short stick matchup here, and they do. The pass inside. Oh, my goodness, an around-the-world finish there. Very impressive goal by Carter McAlpin for the Chargers. And a tight window throw there. You didn't even think McAlpin had much of an angle. Very heads-up play there, knowing his only way of finishing that is going behind the back. So a sweet finish there for Alabama Huntsville. They kill the penalty and take the lead. It's now 2-1. to one. So a couple tough breaks there for Nate Lear. Two finishes right on the crease, and that one, I don't even think he was expecting a shot there. Matriga able to win the faceoff, and he's checked. The ball leaves his stick. Now a battle for the ball, and it's going to be picked up by Will Bond for the Chargers. He immediately loses possession, but they're able to work it up this time to Ty Cassidy, the faceoff specialist, and he works it up to Pete Fabrizio. So a tough break for the Saints there. Matriga able to win the faceoff, but ultimately loses possession, and it ends up in the hands of the Chargers. And this time it's Grayson Stevens behind the net, being defended by Parker Collins for the Saints. Stevens curling around. He Oh, a nice shot there. He had David Friend. Friend hits it off the pipe. And there's, that's going to be a loose ball push. You can't do that. They're going to get Zach Ansberger on that one. And so the Saints will have possession as Blake Gonzalez picks up the ball. So Gonzalez over. They have the midi back. And he will work it over to Garrett Shaw, who gets it inside the restraining box. So the Saints will go back on the offense, looking to tie this one up. Just under nine to play in the first quarter, excuse me. Tanner Sims looking to dodge. Oh, and he slips on the turf, able to get back up and maintain possession, defended closely by Braden O'Neill. A nice dodge there, looking to shoot. Just going to take it down the alley there is Logan Tobias. And the shot is wide of the cage. Oh, and they're going to say the goalkeeper, Tommy Peer, was closest to that one as no one for Flagler was backing it up. A tough break there for the Saints as they got some good looks, just unable to capitalize. Graham Young on the clear, able to work it to Pete Fabrizio. And now back up top to Kyle Light. Light defended by Gick once again. Gick doing a nice job forcing him down the alley. He had a bit of an angle there, but the push able to force the shot right into Nate Lear. So a nice job by Lear and Gick there. And we'll do it again with Light behind the cage. He spins. Splits back right. Gets top side. And great help defense there by Brendan Watson. And Watson with an excellent check, able to free it. And Watson picks it up himself. Watson working it back to Gonzalez. And Gonzalez will simply walk it up and look for his middies on the clear. This time he works it to Griffin Moore. Moore spins back. And good work by Griffin Moore. Had a couple chargers in the area. And they're going to call an offside there. So it's back to the Chargers. Fabrizio working with Jake Schramm. Schramm bringing it in. He fakes the pass. Defended nicely. Oh, they wanted a timeout there. He lost possession. A questionable call there. Gives him the timeout even though the ball was on the turf. But they will grant the timeout to the Chargers. So we'll take our first break from the action here. The score 2-1 to one, Alabama Huntsville out in front. 
Be back in just a minute, folks. Don't go anywhere for the remainder of this first quarter coming up next. All right, fans, we're just getting set to get back to action here. Once again, if you're just joining us, the score of this one, 2-1, to one, the Chargers of Alabama Huntsville out in front of Flagler. That timeout was brought to you by Carmelo's, delivering old world quality only at Carmelo's. So it'll be Chargers' possession there on the far side. Once again, they were able to get the timeout despite the ball hitting the turf. It was a close call there, but they did grant the timeout to Alabama Huntsville, which is a huge break for them as it looked like they were about to lose possession, and now they can set up the offense easily. It's Fabrizio working it back up top to Will Ford. Now it's Ansberger dodging left down the alley. Oh, defended beautifully by Brendan Watson. Watson with an active stick early and often in this one. Ball goes on the ground. They're going to say it was a loose ball push there. And the Chargers will retain possession. This time it's Ford. Sweeping left. Defended nicely there. Grayson Stevens. Oh, he sneaks it near side. Past Nate Lear. He didn't think he had much of an angle there. Shooting left hand down the alley but he's able to sneak it off stick right past Lear. And just like that, it's a 3-1 to one deficit early on for the Saints. So as the Chargers sideline celebrates, we're getting set right back at the center circle for the faceoff. Once again, it's Matriga and Cassidy. This time, Cassidy is able to win it. The stick in his left hand, working on Matriga. Works it back to his long stick midfielder, Will Bond. A nice move there, working it inside. They had a fast break for a second, but Carter McAlpin will simply back it out. And the Chargers, once again, will set up the offense. So it's Ian Arndt defended by Ben Byrne. Arndt's going to take it up top himself. Arndt dodging down the alley, doesn't have the angle, tries to spin it back, but this time he'll just bring it behind the cage to Pete Fabrizio. Fabrizio looking to dodge. Trying to get top side there, defended nicely. Oh, and a nice backhanded pass there. It hits off the pipe. Jake Schramm just barely missing a goal that would have made it a 4-1 to one lead for the Chargers. A nice break there for the Saints. And another behind the back goal. This time it's Jake Schramm. And Flagler with no answer for the cutters of Alabama Huntsville. It's now 4-1. to one. And two of the Chargers goals have been a little fancy here, a little back behind the back action. So it looked like it would be back and forth to start out this one. 
Already, it's looking like it's all Alabama Huntsville so far. They lead by three with 5.09 to play here in the first quarter. Matriga and Cassidy working. Cassidy once again wins the faceoff. And they'll work it back to Will Bond. Bond gets it down to McAlpin. And once again, the Chargers will go on the offense. Blake Gonzalez playing some tight defense on McAlpin. He's able to get it to Grayson Stevens up top. So this time it's Will Ford dodging left. He's got Kroll defending, forcing him down the alley. They work it back up top to Fabrizio. A nice matchup here with the short stick midi on him. And he's just going to shoot it. Easy save for Nate Lear. About 15 yards out, gave Lear plenty of time to read and react to that one. And they're able to work it up to Trace McDonald. So a nice clear there by the Saints. They will go and set up the offense with about four to play here in the first quarter. Shaw moves it up top this time. It's Augie D'Ambrosi. They're working on back to Tanner Sims, now back up top. This time it's Griffin Moore looking to dodge. Uses a pick, frees himself looking back. And thinking about shooting was Tyler Douglas, but he'll simply work it back once again to D'Ambrosi. Sims sweeping. A bit of an errant pass, but Trace McDonald able to corral it. McDonald looking inside. The ball rattles around and able to corral it is Colin Galinsky. Galinsky, normally number 19. He's wearing 99 today for those at home. D'Ambrosi battling for the ground ball. He almost had it, and he forces it out of bounds. So the Chargers once again have possession. So it's been tough to get anything going on offense for the Saints. They're looking for cutters inside, but the Chargers playing real tight defense there. Not going out too far. And you wonder what kind of adjustments the Saints are going to make throughout the rest of this quarter into the second. So this time it's Braden O'Neill trying to clear it himself. He's backed into a corner, but able to beat two Saints. And just like that, they have a breakaway. Here's Fabrizio shooting left, and he finishes in the bottom right corner. And the Chargers' sideline erupts. It's now 5-1. to one. Alabama Huntsville all over Flagler in the early going here. And an uncharacteristic start for Flagler. You had to think they were favored in this one, but the Chargers came to play in this one. Hey, they call it Rocket City for a reason. And they're going to call a hold. Not sure who it's going to go against. It looks like it was against the charge. No, they're going to say it was against Flagler. That is a very tough call there. You had a good view of it from our angle, but they have a better one. So once again, the Chargers going on offense. Feels like every time they've had the ball, they've been able to score. This time it's Ian Arndt working down the alley. Now Arndt behind the net with Kroll guarding. Trying to bring it topside, curling back. He'll defer to Carter McAlpin. Using the pick from Arndt, he goes the other way. McAlpin misses, but a possession shot there as Jake Schramm was closest to the end line. Plenty of time on the shot clock for the Chargers. Just under two to play in the quarter.
And the Saints wanted a moving pick there. And they're going to say crease violation regardless. So they do get a call. A nice break there for the Saints. They haven't gotten many calls so far. This time Watson will move it up. And it's Brandon Grushholt on the clear. He works it back to Watson inside. It's Douglas. Oh, he tries to flip it underhand over the cage, so it serves as a possession shot for the Saints. So you have a feeling they need to get something here to stop the bleeding. McDonald works it back to Douglas. Douglas defended very nicely there by Graham Young. Here's McDonald, splits, dodging right. He shoots, and he scores! A very clean split from Trace McDonald. You can't give him that much space down the alley. And he just fires that one, stick side off the hip. And the Saints cut into the deficit. It's now a 5-2 Chargers lead. Yeah, we talked a lot about Trace McDonald coming off the nine-point game against Colorado Mesa. He's already got an, an assist and a goal in this one. So involved on both the points for the Saints. Matriga easily wins that. Excuse me, not Matriga there. This time it's John, John Adams Dowdy. He won that one easily. And, hey, the Saints have a chance here with just over a minute to play to get another one before we go into the second quarter. This time it's Bateman. So quick, he works it back to McDonald. Up top, this time it's Logan Tobias. Works it to Antonis Makuzis. Makuzis going down the alley. Defers to McDonald. Splits, takes it down. Here's Douglas on the dodge. Oh, a nice split into the left. He sweeps, looks back. Oh, and the pass inside to Makuzis. Shot and scores. Off the assist from Trace McDonald. He had Makuzis cutting. And he puts it in his right hand on his opposite side. Is able to sneak one ever so softly past Tommy Peer. And what was just a four-goal deficit for the Saints is now a two-goal deficit. It's 5-3 to three with 17.6 to go here in the first. If you're the Saints, why not do it again? Let's see if Dowdy can win another one, maybe get one more. Oh, they catch him for a false start. Won that one a little bit too easily, did Dowdy. So the Chargers will have possession. We'll see if they can get any opportunities with just under 17 to go. In the quarter. So it's Arndt with it. Looking inside, do Fabrizio. They collapse on him, do the Saints. Looking inside. Nice defense there by Blake Gonzalez. He'll ice it down the field. And that's how this quarter will end. So back and forth, it looked like it was going to be all Chargers there early on. But the Saints able to get two late goals to cut into the lead. We'll be back in, the, in a second for the second quarter of action here. Before we do, we'd like to thank a few of our presenting sponsors, Capital Financial Strategies, a full-service financial company serving North Florida and South Georgia. And how about Jersey Mike's Subs? Hey, stop into Jersey Mike's, get the number seven, make sure to get it Mike's way, and let them know Kyle sent you. We'll be right back in a second, folks. The score 5-3 to three between Alabama Huntsville and Flagler.
All right, fans, just back out of the timeout here. Once again, the score, Alabama-Huntsville 5, Flagler 3 coming out of the first quarter. Just about set for the first faceoff of the second quarter. Once again, it's going to be Matriga and Ty Cassidy on the faceoff for their respective teams. The Chargers did a nice job early on just going downhill early and often, peppering Nate Lear with shots, and hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so why not try? So the officials have a quick conversation with Coach Duncan of the Saints, and they place the ball down. And we are ready to go here in the second quarter. And they're going to get Cassidy with a false start there. He clearly went early. And Willie Bateman for the Saints will pick it up. Bateman works it down low to Trace McDonald. On the midfield, it's Tyler Douglas and Logan Tobias entering the game. Now Antonis Makuzis enters the fold as well. Very quickly, it's Douglas dodging. He shoots, misses wide of the cage, but back to.
All right, fans, we apologize for the technical difficulties. While we were gone, a lot of action occurred here. We saw Garrett Shaw score the ninth goal for the Saints on the assist from Luke Burton. And then on the other side, the Chargers able to finish their eighth goal of the game and a penalty to go along with it. It looks like it was a crease violation, but they're going to say he was pushed in there, much to Coach Duncan's chagrin. But we still have 32.6 seconds to play here in the first half. Once again, the score nine to seven, or excuse me, nine to eight. Flagler is on top. And Moore knocks the face off out. It's picked up by Blake Gonzalez. Gonzalez with a nice move, spinning and keeps the stick in it, or the ball in his stick. Gonzalez looking for someone with a short stick to pick it up. Trace McDonald comes to help out. And the Saints will work on some substitutions here. So seven seconds left. With the penalty, Flagler just looking to hold it. And we will go into halftime. So an exciting first half of play. Flagler leads by a score of 9-8. to eight. It was back and forth from the jump. And we'll see what the second half has in store for us. Before we go to our halftime break, I want to thank our official presenting sponsors, UF Health, St. John's Flagler Hospital, excellence as a way of life. And how about Anchor Faith, the community of people passionate about Jesus. Don't go anywhere, folks. The second half is coming up next. Once again, the score, nine for Flagler and Huntsville, eight.
All right, fans, so out of the halftime break here, we're just getting set for the second half of action between the Flagler Saints and, of course, the Huntsville Chargers. If you're just joining us, the score is 9-8 to eight in favor of the Saints. And funny enough, Flagler actually had nine different goal scorers in that first half. We saw Trace McDonald, Luke Burton, Tyler Douglas, Garrett Shaw, Antonis Macuzas, Tanner Sims, Brendan Watson, as well as Griffin Moore and Logan Tobias. So there was a penalty right before the break. The, the Saints are actually a man down with for another 15 seconds or so. So they started with possession since they had the ball to end the first half. And they'll count down the penalty Five, now. Four, three, two, one. 24 release. And a nice job by the Saints. One to maintain possession. Very heads up not to move the ball around and try and score. Here comes Tobias. He works it down the alley. Gets it back to Luke Burton behind the cage. Burton looks to feed it inside. It's deflected there. And there's a scrum on the ground. That was Will Castle on the deflection. This time it's Burton. Oh, and the shot clock expires just as Burton shot. It wouldn't have counted anyways, but it was wide of the net regardless. So the Chargers will pick up possession. Big story of that first half, the ground balls. Flagler had eight in the first quarter, 11 in the second. They won in that category 19 to 10. The shots were more even, though. Flagler 21, Huntsville 20. Pretty even game outside of the ground balls in that first half. So it's Kyle Light with the ball up top. The Chargers working on their substitutions. The defensive middies for the Saints. It's Paxton Kroll, who was just honored during our senior day ceremonies, as well as Brendan Watson, who Watson known for his defense, but had a nice goal earlier and a beautiful finish. That was David Friend coming across the far side of the crease with a nice wraparound finish to beat, beat Nate Lear. And this game is all tied up again, this time at nine apiece with 13-26 remaining here in the third quarter. So the Chargers looked like they were settling things down, but all of a sudden Friend had a nice angle there and is able to finish. They've had a lot of opportunities right on top of the crease. And those opportunities have been tough for Nate Lear to stop. When they're able to, or when the Saints, that is, when they're able to force the shots from outside, Lear has been very comfortable making the saves, but always harder when they go inside. So we'll do it again from the center. Matt Matriga wins that face off. He's able to work it out to Willie Bateman, and Bateman easily beats Richie Moore and gets it into the restraining box. And the Saints will go on the offense once again. So it's Tyler Douglas with the ball up top. He defers down low to Garrett Shaw. Now they'll work it down low to Luke Burton. Here's Douglas looking to dodge. Not very threatening, works it down the alley to Burton. Burton back up top to Shaw. This time it's Macuzis. Now McDonald, a nice split, works it out to Macuzas inside. Oh, and a nice defensive play once again by Will Castle. The ball goes up, rattles around, and ends up in the stick of Nate Burt. And Burt will take it himself on the clear. Burt shoots it wide of the cage, tried the low worm burner type shot. Lear was ready for it, but it was wide of the cage regardless and serves as a possession shot. So it's David Friend defended by Walker Smith. Smith defending him nicely. Both teams even strength here as Kyle Light works it up top to Ian Arndt. It was a nice first half for Ian Arndt. He had the two goals to his name. Both tough shots with low angle, oh, and Friend shoots it, and he is lit up by Blake Gonzalez, who lets him know while he's on the ground. And that is a goal-saving play. Oh, but the pass up from Watson. John Kersey wasn't ready for it. A beautiful save by Nate Lear and a late flag. 
They're going to say crease violation one, but let's see what the call is. And it looks like they're going to send off Carter McAlpin. So we'll wait for the officials to deliberate. Not sure which side the penalty was against. Likely against the Saints, judging on the area of the field. Looks like they may, they may be getting Brandon Grusholt on that penalty. So Huntsville, yeah, they're going to get unnecessary roughness on Grusholt. So a one-minute penalty, the first one of this second half. A pretty clean game in the first. Flagler had the one penalty but was able – to stop the Chargers from doing anything with it. And we'll see if the Huntsville luck can turn here. 11.36 to play in the third quarter. The score all knotted up at nine apiece. And the state sideline gets loud for this man down. Possession, Fabrizio behind the net. Chargers working a wheel concept here. Fabrizio, it was read beautifully by Blake Gonzalez. He's looking to reverse field. He had Shram on the far side on the wing for a second. And stepping in and threatening was Jacob Thomas. And a turnover there as it's deflected. They're going to say it was Charger ball. Oh. Close call there. They do have the best view due to the officials, so... We'll, of course, defer to them. But the Chargers will retain possession with 35 seconds remaining in the penalty. So they work it back up top to Thomas. He steps in. Light works it down to Fabrizio, who had enough of the angle and just places it into the top left corner to give the Chargers a 10-9 lead. So another call that doesn't go the way of the Saints leads to another Chargers goal. The Saints need to shore things up a bit. These miscues, whether it be penalties or just calls from the officials, they can't impact you like that. And this back and forth game continues. Flagler now with a one goal deficit. So it'll be Matt Matriga facing off against Ty Cassidy. And the two of them are battling. Looks like we're going to get a hold to go against Matriga, and the Chargers will have possession. So yet another call that doesn't go the way of the Saints, but that was a pretty clear hold from our vantage point. And Kyle Light will possess it up top, and the Chargers will make their substitutions. So it's Ian Arndt defended by Ben Byrne. Arndt beats him down the alley. Looking to feed inside, he does. Feed to Shram up top. Shram works it back to the right side. Oh, and he spins again, has some space, and a great check there. Parker Collins with a diving trail check to get the Saints possession again. A huge play there as Shram had a wide open opportunity to shoot uncontested against Nate Lear. So the Saints will set up offense, but you can't say enough about the job Parker Collins just did on that trail check. And the Saints will look to tie this thing up. Tobias working it over to Douglas. Douglas splits. Works it over to Tobias. Oh, a nice move there. Hits off the post. A beautiful one-handed face dodge by Tobias. And now Douglas beats his man. Works it into Tobias, who shoots. And it's wide of the net, but Trace McDonald was there to back it up. So a couple of good opportunities there for the Saints, a post and a wide shot. McDonald looking up top, he has Macuzis. And the shot there just wide. That time it was Logan Tobias. Tried to bounce one into the left corner there, just missed it by a half a foot. Douglas looking to feed. He'll defer to Garrett Shaw up top. This time it's Trace McDonald. McDonald's so shifty with the ball in his hands and always looking to feed. 
McDonald had three assists in the last game. Already has three assists from the first half in this one. Oh, and they try a quick stick across the crease. And they're going to give a call to the Saints. They're going to say that Garrett Shaw was pushed into the crease. McDonald was looking his way for a quick stick goal, a bit of a force, but the pass was there. Shaw was simply pushed into the crease, and hey, the Saints will have a fresh shot clock now. So it's McDonald defended by Colin Galinsky. He spins. Ooh, gets some separation. Works it inside, shoots, and scores. Luke Burton off the feed from Trace McDonald. Throws a fake and beats it right past Tommy Peer. For McDonald, it's his fourth assist of the game for Burton, his second goal. And we are all tied up once again. It's now 10-10. to And Trace McDonald, like we mentioned, so shifty with the ball in his hand and always with his eyes up. He gets enough separation there. The slide starts, and at that point it was too late for the Charger defense. So now with 8.37 to go, we'll do it again from the center X. It's once again Matriga and Cassidy. They have been battling all day. This time it goes out, and well, it looks like – John Kersey had it for a second, was unable to pick it up, and Ty Cassidy picks it up and flings it. And he flings it right to Nate Lear. So a nice break for the Saints. Don't get the ground ball, but do get the possession. Not a wise play there from Cassidy, but you don't expect much in the way of possession from the faceoff specialists. Oh, and an errant pass there from Lear. And both teams turning it over, and now Carter McAlpin will take it past restraining and set up the offense for the Chargers. So it's Grayson Stevens up top. And now they work it over to Jacob Thomas. Thomas defended by Paxton Kroll. Oh, he almost slips through a little too many fakes. He... Almost faked out himself there. Thomas looking across. Oh, another behind-the-back opportunity. That was Fabrizio. And Flagler will have possession. Great hustle there by Paxton Kroll diving toward the sideline. And the Saints will go on the clear. They work it up to Brendan Watson. And Watson's able to work it over to Garrett Moore, who will possess it for the Saints. And a great defensive possession once again for Flagler. They've definitely shored things up defensively as opposed to that first half. So it's Griffin Moore. Works behind the cage to Luke Burton. This time it's Garrett Shaw. Dodging has the short stick on him. McDonald splits right, looks back. And the shot, and he scores, and a late hit. Luke Burton. Luke Burton with a man in his grill finishes off the assist from Augie D'Ambrosi. A beautiful finish from Burton. He now has three goals on the contest and none bigger than that one to give Flagler an 11-10 lead here with 6.42 remaining in the third quarter. And Flagler, this time the penalty will stand, so Flagler will simply have possession. No face-off here. Not only will they have possession, they'll be a man up. Yeah, so on that one, they're going to get Will Bond with a cross check to the head. Bond has been phenomenal defensively in this contest. Just a little frustration creeping in there. So Flagler on the man up. We see Colton Reynolds checking in for the first time, one of the man up specialists. Here's Douglas playing a little two-man game with Tobias. Now over to Reynolds and McDonald.
And the pass from Douglas goes way over the head of Tobias. Coach Duncan not happy right now. Feels his boys were holding on to it a little too long. When you're a man up, use the space. There's no need to be checked. Now it's Ian Arndt looking to clear it. He's working against John Kersey. And Arndt able to possess it into the Charger offensive zone. He'll roll it across to Carter McAlpin. And a silly decision there. He rolls it directly out of bounds. And the penalty is about to release, so a nice job on the kill. And a nice job there by Tobias helping out his man, Parker Collins, who almost lost it on the sideline. And the Saints with a nice break there. They set up the offense. Here's McDonald. And it's on the wing on the far side. Now up top to Tobias. Tobias dodging against the short stick. Thought about shooting. He'll just bring it up, bring it back out. And he'll move it over to Macuzas. Tobias shoots it wide of the cage, but it's backed up by Luke Burton. Tobias looking to shoot a lot in this third quarter. He's had some good opportunities, just unable to hit the cage, so... Hoping one of those falls eventually. So now this time it's Macuzas works it over to McDonald. McDonald loves that little spin move. Now sweeping across, he shoots, and the trail check forces the shot high over the net. So 16 on the shot clock. It's Burton, works it up top. It's Douglas, thought about shooting with the left, spins again. Somehow able to ma maintain uh, possession, excuse me. And as the shot clock winds down, the shot is good. Tyler Douglas does it himself. So we saw the shot clock ticking, ticking, ticking down. Douglas working around the cage. You didn't know if he was going to have enough space to get one off. Finally frees himself up and buries one low past Tommy Peer. And that's a huge goal for the Saints. It's now a 12-10 lead with 4.26 remaining in the quarter. So the Saints hoping that's a nice momentum builder here. They're down 10-9, have scored the last three goals. Moore with the ball on the ground. He is able to somehow weave his way out of that, falls down. And they call a flag, not sure what the call is. As the shot from Nate Burt hits off the crossbar and goes high. They're gonna get Matt Gick on that penalty there. We'll wait for the official signal. Impressive play by the Chargers faceoff specialist, Richie Moore. He was on the ground twice there, somehow never lost possession and draws the penalty. And they're going to get Gick with a slash, so a one-minute penalty. So a huge break for the Chargers here. They were losing a little bit of momentum. But if you're a Huntsville fan, you're hoping that that penalty sparks some life offensively into, the, into your boys. So it's Jake Schramm with the ball on the near side down the alley. As the Flagler sideline gets loud, he works it back to Fabrizio. They're working on the wing, it is Schramm. Works back up top to Thomas. Now looking down low. Thomas, oh, tries to get the cross crease pass, but Brandon Grushel was waiting for it and deflects it out of bounds, so it'll stay with the Chargers. 37 seconds left on the penalty. Here's Thomas. Now Fabrizio looking to feed. Fires it up top. The shot, and it's smothered. A nice defensive play by Walker Smith to eat that shot. Fabrizio works it back up top to Schramm. Now it's Thomas weaving his way through. Shoots, and it's saved by Lear. Deflected. Oh, and then a nice pass. 
What a finish there. Ian Arndt with another goal. This one assisted by Kyle Light. And Light didn't have much space there, or Arndt, excuse me, didn't have much space there. Light fits it in there in a quick stick finish down low. Cuts the deficit to one. And Jacob Thomas firing up his sideline after that. A nice man up possession for the Chargers. And that stops the bleeding ever so slightly. It's now 12 for Flagler, 11 for Huntsville. And a nice play by Dowdy. Wins the faceoff, brings it on the fast break. The shot, Garrett Shaw! Buries one in the top corner, off the assist from Dowdy. And it only took about seven seconds of action. Dowdy wins the faceoff, and he is already back at center X. He wants to do it again. And that is a textbook fast break there. The slide was late, so Shaw figured I'll just take it myself. And he could not have placed that one any better. Fires it into the top left corner. It's now back to a two-goal Flagler lead. And Dowdy wins another faceoff. Flips it on back to Willie Bateman, who uses his wheels to take it into the restraining box for the Saints. Bateman beats Graham Young. Weaves his way through. Oh, and a nice defensive play by Galkin. And Colin Golinski able to force that turnover. Now it's Will Bond working at it on the clear himself. He'll just flip it to Fabrizio. And Fabrizio running. Oh, and they're going to call a flag on that. That is, I'm not one to criticize calls, but that is one of the softer calls that you'll see in this game. He got all stick. But they're sending a message. They don't want any slashes in this game. But that is a tough break, a handout to the Chargers. And they will go back on the man up. Only a 30-second penalty, so they'll have to move quickly. With 2.42 to play, another tough break for Flagler right as they extend their lead to two. It's Thomas, works it. Over to the wing on the near side. Now defers back to Ansberger. Ansberger to Light. Light back up top to Jacob Thomas. Thomas down low to Fabrizio who shoots wide of the cage, but backed up easily by Ian Arndt. 14 on the penalty. And the officials direct Ian Arndt further to the sideline. And Arndt! Lazily throws it, loses the ball. It, it just flies out of bounds. That's a tough break for Ian Arndt, who's had otherwise a phenomenal game. And a huge break for the Saints. And the penalty will release. So a nice penalty kill from the Saints. They get a gift from Ian Arndt on that one. And Garrett Moore will take it into the restraining box. He works with Colton Reynolds, who gets it behind the cage to Luke Burton. Back up top. Once again, it's Garrett Moore. One forty-five to play here in the third quarter. Oh, a nice save there by Garrett Moore as the pass was a little high for him. Moore coming in, tries to finish low. It deflects off Tommy Peer. And that's going to be a late hit. That's an easy call for the officials as Garrett Moore hit his man Trevor Redmond late after he passed it to Tommy Peer. So the Saints unable to get out of their own way when it comes to the penalties in the last few minutes or so. They're still up two, but you don't want to let the Chargers easily get back in this game. And a beautiful trail check by Grusholt. He'll pick it up, and the penalty will be called. Yeah, that's going to be a one-minute penalty for unnecessary roughness. They're going to get Garrett Moore once again for that one. 
And it looks like that was just a frustration penalty, losing possession as Moore thought he had the uh, uh, he had the angle on the shot. It was a great take, and he tried to finish low. Tommy Peer guessed right, but one of the easier penalty calls for our officials. So the Chargers will go back on the man up. About 107 to play, so the penalty will not last the entire rest of the quarter. The Chargers should be in no rush. Probably want to work it down beyond 30 seconds before scoring here, but you never know. They've been working fast all game. Jake Schramm down low. He has Ian Art back up top. This time it's light. Aren't looking inside. Thomas leaves the crease. Oh, Fabrizio looks like he may have had an angle, but unable to corral the pass. And the ball is deflected, and Brendan Watson picks it up and flips it nicely to Nate Lear. And a huge play there. It was deflected by Grusholt. Then Kyle Light makes a nice check. That time he got Walker Smith, and the ball goes out of bounds. The Chargers will have possession. 10 seconds on the penalty, 17 seconds on the game clock. Thomas working it back over to Light. The pass deflected once again by Grusholt. He is doing a great job on this penalty kill. So still one second on the penalty, a little miscommunication as the ball went right out of bounds with one second left. And we are back to even strength. Three seconds left. The Chargers will just hold on to it. And their sideline can't believe why they wouldn't go to goal. Regardless, the third quarter has wrapped up. The score, Flagler 13, Huntsville 11. Flagler started to break away in that third quarter, but the job is not finished. So we'll go to break before the final quarter. Before we go to break, want to thank a few more of our wonderful sponsors. Vested Metals, we're a customer-centric and solution-based metal supplier. And how about KB Home, built on relationships? If you need a new home, who better than KB Home? Like I said, we'll be taking a timeout here. The score, Flagler 13, Huntsville 11. Don't go anywhere, folks. The fourth quarter coming up next. All right, so out of the timeout here, we're just getting set for the fourth quarter of action here in St. Augustine. If you're just joining us, I don't know why you would be this late, but if you are, the score is Flagler 13 and Huntsville 11. Story of the game for the Saints, the work of the attackmen, Luke Burton and Trace McDonald. McDonald, one goal, but four assists to go along with that. And then Luke Burton also with five points. He has three goals and two assists as well. It's also been a nice day for Garrett Shaw, two goals and an assist, and Tyler Douglas has a couple goals as well. At center X, it's going to be Dowdy for the Saints, and then Ty Cassidy, number 26, for the Chargers facing off. Dowdy's done a nice job when called upon in this game, and he wins another faceoff. And a nice job by Dowdy. Puts it in his left hand and is able to work it down to the attackman. And Sean Burton will simply possess it as the Saints make their substitutions. So they work it. Oh, they're trying to make their subs. And Galinsky able to pick off the passes that was intended for McDonald. McDonald almost able to get the trail check there, but just ran out of space. So 
Graham Young of the Chargers has it. They'll go back on the offense. So it had to be a miscommunication during the substitutions. Took a little while for the Saints. They got all sorts of out of whack. Oh, that kick falls down. Gives Kyle Light a nice opportunity. Misses top of the cage. But backing it up was David Friend. They're going to reset the shot clock here back to 60 seconds. So it'll be Friend in the corner on the near side. Friend here defended by Walker Smith. Smith staying with him, throwing some nice checks. Friend able to spin around. He wants to go right. He's waiting for his cutters, looking. He has nobody. The sticks are up for the Saints. It's Carter McAlpin here. The short stick, Watson defending. Calpin with the ball in his left hand. He moves back to his right. Nowhere to go here, nowhere, no one to pass to. McAlpin bounces one. Lear was ready for it, and he is frustrated with himself. He knew he should have saved that one. But nonetheless, it's another goal for the Chargers. This time, it's Carter McAlpin finishing to make it a one-goal deficit. So following the McAlpin goal, it's now 13 to 12. Flagler still maintains the lead. We'll have another face-off between these two Peach Belt foes. And it's so important to win your first game of conference play. Want to get off to a good start. Oh, Dowdy thought he won that one, but Cassidy was able to pick up the ground ball. McAlpin shoots again, this time high of the cage. Friend backs it up. But almost a quick equalizer for the Chargers. Friend once again defended by Walker Smith. And Friend, they're going to, I don't know what the flag is going to be here as he deliberately ran and slipped into the crease. Another call that goes against the Saints, and this one is a bit baffling. Let's see what the call is here. They're going to call Dowdy with a push into the crease. It, it was pretty clear he slipped. And another call that doesn't go the Saints' way, and this one is a crusher as you're trying to nurse your lead. But another opportunity for the Chargers. This time, if they're able to connect, they can tie this game right up. Excuse me, we said it was Dowdy on the penalty. It was 49, Walker Smith. And I thought Smith played some great defense there, but the officials say otherwise. So the Chargers on the man up. Only 30 seconds, so they'll work a little bit quicker here. It's Light looking for the wheel concept. They want to find Fabrizio down low. Arndt works it back up top. It's light down to Fabrizio. 12 on the penalty. Fabrizio works it up top. This time it's Arndt. He works it to Schramm. The shot is deflected off the head of Watson. Oh, and they're going to say Zach Antsberger was closest. There's Arndt, and the penalty releases. Schramm's going to shoot it. Saved by Lear. A good shot going low, and even better saved by Nate Lear. And Flagler will go on the clear as Grusholt works it up. Oh, no. Ball rattles around. And Paxton Kroll unable to come up with it. And once again, the Chargers have possession. And down low, Fabrizio all alone. Too easy. So the failed clear for the Saints leads to a wide open goal. And if you leave, leave Pete Fabrizio that wide open, he's going to finish it 10 times out of 10. So they're going to give the assist there to Ian Arndt. 
who thought about shooting there, but then opened his eyes a bit and saw Fabrizio wide open on the crease. And Dowdy and Cassidy will do it again from center X. We are all knotted up 13-13 with 12-13 to go here in regulation. And a false start. Once again, a call going against the Saints, because why not? And Huntsville will have possession again. So it'll be Will Ford defended by Parker Collins. Parker Collins has had a nice game here. One of the toughest jobs in sports being a short stick D midi. And Ford brings it in. Oh, he had a wide open cage to shoot, and he misses it, hits off the crossbar. And a lucky break there for the Saints. We've seen a few pipes hit by the Chargers throughout this game. Here comes Friend. Gets topside. He's looking for his cutters. Tries to connect there with Bryce Ferraro. Ferraro unable to pick it up. And Ferraro battling down there with Ben Byrne. We have a couple guys on the ground. Friend picks it up. And they're going to grant a timeout. They don't call the ward. They give them the timeout again. So it'll be Charger ball on the far side when we return from the incoming break. Before we go to break, we want to thank Fish Bites, Set the Hook, and of course, a personal favorite, who else? Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. 11.24 to go here in the fourth quarter with the score 13-13 between Huntsville and Flagler. We'll be back in a second, folks. Don't go anywhere. All right, so out of the break, once again, it'll be Huntsville ball on the far side in the alley. They called a push against the Saints in that scrum of about six players in which two were on the ground, one from each team. The score is all knotted up, 13-13, 11-24 to play in regulation. And the Chargers from Huntsville have a nice opportunity to take their first lead of the second half. So it'll be Carter McAlpin with the ball on the far side. It's Grayson Stevens and Will Ford up top. The Saints defense playing out far. As we see Ben Byrne defending Stevens closely, he forces him down the alley, and they'll work behind the cage. Here's McAlpin, defended by Blake Gonzalez, who's had a phenomenal game on defense. Ford gets some space. It looked like he was going to pass. He just decided to fake passing and shoot, and he buries one bottom right. And just like that, the Chargers score three unanswered goals, and they have their first lead in a while. It's now 14-13. Huntsville is on top. So a tough break for the Saints. Seems like nothing's going their way to start off the fourth quarter. We'll see Matt Matriga back on the faceoff. They're going to take out Dowdy, switch up things a little bit. And Cassidy able to win this one. Flips it back, tries to pick it up with one hand. And a nice ground ball by Alex Dorincott. He even throws a fake. 
Loses it ever so slightly. McDonald tries to scoop it to himself, but it goes out of bounds. So Carter McAlpin will pick it up. It'll be another Chargers possession. Huntsville has dominated this fourth quarter so far. Feels like they've had the ball in their offensive zone the entirety of the four and a half minutes in this quarter. Here's Ford looking to dodge again, defended by Watson. Ford trying to go topside, spinning back left. No angle there. Very nice defense by Brendan Watson. Can't say enough about the job he's done in this match. Friend looking to feed. He'll work it back to Ford. Defended nicely once again by Watson. McAlpin tries to look inside to Ferraro. The ball deflects, but Ferraro able to pick it up. Under 10 to play in this one. Once again, Huntsville up one, 14 to 13. Looking to extend their lead. Oh, and a clear hit to, hit to the helmet. Paxton Kroll, not a hard one, but he did hit the helmet. They usually call that one. And Fabrizio was right in front of the net. Wasn't able to corral it. And let's see what the call is here. It was Lear who looked like he had clamped it. Yeah, and they're going to say a crease violation or interference. Can't really tell. But nonetheless, the ball will go to the Saints. And that was a close call there as Pete Fabrizio looked like he was all alone on the crease. What a beautiful trail check. And the Saints will set up the offense. So really the first time we've seen him on offense here in the fourth quarter. Tanner Sims with Will Bond defending. And here's Macuzis. Has the matchup he wants. Goes downhill with a bull dodge. Macuzis now swims. Somehow comes out of that against three defenders. Oh, and the shot by Douglas is deflected. A nice check there by Sam Coffey. The Saints will retain possession as McDonald will take it behind the cage. 40 seconds on the shot clock. McDonald defended by Galinsky for the Chargers. Spins back. And a great lift there by Galinsky. The ball on the turf. Sims working against several defenders. And they're able to flip it back. Looks like he may have been out of bounds, but they're going to say he got it off in time as Trevor Redmond takes it the other way for Huntsville. A great defensive possession for the Chargers. Both teams making their substitutions. And here is Schramm, defended by Douglas. Douglas normally an offensive mid. He wasn't able to get off the field. Beautiful play by Lear. He almost intercepted that, was able to interfere with it. But the Chargers will retain possession. David Friend coming across, spins and beats Tyler Douglas. And another goal for the Chargers. They are winning this quarter 4-0. It's now 15-13. They have a two-goal lead all of a sudden. David Friend all day has been trying to get topside and spin back. He's finally wearing down the defense. Also had a matchup he likes against Douglas, the short stick midi. And now for the Saints, it's crunch time. Down two. You need a possession here. And likely a goal within the next two or three minutes. Matrigo wins that faceoff. Can't he tries to flip it to himself? No loose ball push call there. And the ball is down to Fabrizio. Coach Duncan unhappy with the officials, asking why they can't get a call. It felt that way. And another flag goes down. And let's see who the call goes against. They said it was against Blue, but the number they called out is not on the field. Likely going to get number 28, Alex Dorincott. 
the long stick midfielder. Yeah, and it's going to be Doran Cott. They're going to get him for a slash. Didn't really see much from our angle, but nonetheless, a huge break for the Saints who feel like they haven't got a call all day. They'll go on the man up. It's going to be a one-minute penalty with 7.24 to play in regulation. So it'll be Douglas, Tobias, and Reynolds, the midfielders for the Saints. Joining them, Macuzis, Burton, and McDonald resting behind the net. They're spinning it around. Have plenty of time with one minute on the penalty. Want to make sure they get their best look here. McDonald looks inside, works it back out to Reynolds. Now down to McDonald. Oh, and a tight pass there, read beautifully by Tommy Peer. He intercepts the McDonald pass intended for Burton. And Peer with a nice swim move. Beats Burton. And Will Castle will work it up to Kyle Light. Light's going to try and do it himself. He's weaving through Saints defenders nicely. And he clears it himself into the restraining box. A tough break for Flagler. We've seen that a couple times, just passing it off the back foot, not giving your man enough space. And the penalty releases, so we're back to even strength. If the Chargers can net one here, it'll be really tough for Flagler to come back in this game. Ian Arndt spinning. Tries a bull dodge that looks like a ward. Once again, no call. Schramm this time going down. He shoots, and he's able to beat Nate Lear. A low percentage shot, another low percentage shot that goes in for the Chargers. It seems like those are their best opportunities, placed beautifully right past the ear of Nate Lear. And all of a sudden, with 6.01 to play, it's 16-13. to You wonder if the lead is a little too much for Flagler to come back. So Flagler dominated the second and third quarters, but no one has dominated a quarter like the Chargers have in this fourth. They've won the quarter so far five to nothing, and the Saints have really only had two possessions. Now Cassidy jumps, so a big break for the Saints. Six minutes to go here in regulation. Willie, Willie Bateman will pick it up. Let's see if the, Char if the Saints, that is, can dig into this deficit. Here's Antonis Makuzis. The Saints going to be hurrying here. McDonald looking to sweep. Gets room. He shoots just over the cage. And he is hit late, and he is down. A cheap shot against McDonald there. He is down, and it does not look good. They're going to get Will Bond. That was as clear a penalty as you're ever going to see. But at this point, we just hope Trace McDonald is okay. Looks like he was just a little bit shaken up. He gets up, moving a little slowly. He'll come off and get checked out for the time being. We're glad to see Trace McDonald's okay. They'll deliberate on the penalty. It'll likely be at least one minute. As we said Will Bond, the penalty is actually going to be on Graham Young, an illegal body check. It'll be a two-minute penalty, so a huge, huge opportunity for the Saints. They'll have possession on the far side. It's Colton Reynolds, the junior from Lexington, Kentucky. Works it up to Douglas, now over on the wing to Tobias. 
It'll be interesting to see how they work this man-up opportunity without Trace McDonald as he's being checked out on the sideline. Chargers sliding real nicely defensively here. Tobias shot. Oh, a beautiful save by Tommy Peer. A great opportunity for Tobias, and Tobias deflects the pass. It does go out of bounds, but before he comes off, that lets both teams make their substitutions. Now with just over five to play, Flagler needs to get the ball back. And Dorncott taking it himself, trying to weave through Flagler attack and midfielders. He's able to. He works it up. An errant pass. And Walker Smith able to pick it up in the defensive zone for the Saints. So they're going to try and get it back on offense quickly here. 4.45 to play now as Douglas has it over midfield. Still a minute on the penalty as Douglas works it over to Burton. Slogan Tobias setting up the offense as Trace McDonald comes back onto the field. So good to see he is A-OK. -okay. McDonald coming topside. Works it up to Reynolds. Reynolds over to Tobias. McDonald looks in front, and it's stuffed. He had Luke Burton. Burton just tried to quick stick it in, but Tommy Pierce stood tall. And you wonder if that's going to be an opportunity the Saints needed as Galinsky brings it. Oh, and that's the clearest moving pick you'll ever see. Galinsky just ran right into Brandon Grushel, and Grushel went down. And a huge break there for the Saints as they get possession back. 3.51 to play, so they need anything they can get here. Go, 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 go. And it looks like they're going to say a timeout call by the Chargers, so both teams will go to their sidelines. As things are a little chippy here, as both teams are taking a while to get into their huddles. But we will take a break. So 3.51 to play. The score, Huntsville 16, Flagler 13. This fourth quarter has been all Chargers. We'll be back in a second. It'll be Flagler ball on the far side when we come back. All right, so we're out of the timeout here. Oh, goodness. We thought it was going to be Flagler ball. They don't call the moving pick. They gave them the timeout before it. And they're letting him in the restraining box. This is questionable at best. Oh, a tough break for the Saints who haven't got really any throughout this game. That is an unbelievable call. So 12 seconds remaining on the penalty. The Chargers will just try and ice that away. 
Saints have Kersey and Grushholt defending Kyle Light. He gets some separation, loses the ball momentarily. Oh, and he beats two men, goes topside, decides to bring it out and not shoot. Will Ford behind the cage, and he works it up top this time to Carter McAlpin. The Saints need to press here. Need to get three goals in just over three minutes, which is a hard task at hand. And Ford's shot goes wide. And they're going to say Fabrizio was closer. It was close from our angle, but it did look like Fabrizio had about a yard or two on Lear. So 20 on the shot clock. Fabrizio gets it topside. Here's David Friend working on Walker Smith. McAlpin, oh, he had Fabrizio on the crease. Light shot is saved by Lear. Lear leaves the crease to go get it and works it up to Brendan Watson. So Watson on the clear, gets it on down to Trace McDonald. 2.30 on the clock, McDonald splits. Looks up top, the shot is good! Garrett Shaw on the assist from Trace McDonald. And don't go anywhere, folks. The Saints are still in this one, down two. It's now 16-14 to 14 with two and a half to play in regulation. And boy, was that much needed as Trace McDonald splits, gets a nice angle, and then works it over to Garrett Shaw for Trace's fifth assist of the day. And for Shaw, that's a hat trick, his third goal of the contest. The first goal of the fourth quarter for the Saints. You hope it's not too little too late. And Matriga wins the faceoff, is pushed directly to the ground by Sam Coffey. And the Chargers will have possession. A tough break as Matriga easily won the clamp. But it may have been strategy. Let him win the clamp and let Coffey just run him over. No ward call there. As Parker Davey, a name we haven't said much, he's trying to work against Willie Bateman, and he is able to work it up top to Carter McAlpin. So under two to play, McAlpin letting his guys know we're in no rush. He's acting a bit, looking for a foul call there. Ferraro brings it inside, restraining, and now we'll just back it on out. Here's Jake Schramm, works it down low to David Friend. 135 to play, 30 on the shot clock. All hope is not lost for the Saints. You need to get possession here and up. And now it might be as Schramm finds Fabrizio all alone in front of the net. Fabrizio bounces it easily past Lear. And uh, you can't leave Pete Fabrizio open on the crease that many times in a game. And he extends the lead back to three. It's now 17 to 14, the Saints trail. And that might just be about all she wrote. So this time it's Dowdy against Coffee. We'll see if they go with the same strategy, let Dowdy win the clamp and then just run him over. Dowdy wins the clamp. Has possession, flips it on back to Tyler Douglas, and the Saints will have to go. Douglas using the pick. Works it back to Logan Tobias. Now it's Douglas, the Saints have to go here. It's Douglas, shoots, and hey, there's a flag call. And so we're going to get a penalty call against the Chargers with exactly one minute to play. We'll see who the call is against specifically. Yeah, they're going to get Braden O'Neill there. So finally a call breaks the Saints' way, but it's likely too little too late as there's only a minute to play and the Saints need three goals in that span. Yeah, 
Yeah, so they give us the call here. It's a cross check against Braden O'Neill. Can't do that. One of the easier calls anytime. And a behind the back goal by Macuzis and McDonald picks up his sixth assist of the day. And it only took seven seconds. All right, hey. We said it may have been an insurmountable deficit, but hey, if the Saints can get a face-off win here and a breakaway and do it again, we might be looking at overtime. So Dowdy and Coffee again at Center X. It's Griffin Moore and Tyler Douglas on the wing for the Saints. Getting some offensive specialists in there, so if they can win the clamp, get it back to them. And they're going to call a hold on Coffee. It looks like it was against Dowdy, but nonetheless, a huge break for the Saints. And oh my goodness, some really dirty checks there. Oh my goodness, Coffee let his frustration out. They're likely going to get an illegal body check or a slash, and I think they have a second penalty coming in. And there's still only 44.6 seconds left, but a huge break for the Saints. We'll see what the call is. I think it's going to be two men down for the Chargers. Definitely going to get coffee, but we'll see who the other penalty is on. All right, so it's two 30-second penalties on number 35, Graham Young, and number 20, Sam Coffey, for the Chargers. Coach Duncan calls a timeout here. So with 44.6 to play, Flagler down 17-15, to 15, but they will have possession in their offensive zone. So coming into the quarter, it was five extra man opportunities for the Chargers as opposed to one for the Saints. And we know they're going to have to go quickly here out of the penalty and then do it again at the center X. So we'll stay with you throughout this timeout. As the Saints offense takes the field once again, it's McDonald, Macuzis, and Burton on the attack, Douglas, Reynolds, and Tobias at the midfield. The remaining players take the field. We'll have Trace McDonald on the wing on the far side starting things out. They were able to score in about seven seconds in the last one, so hoping for something similar here as you want to have at least 30 seconds after the goal. And the Chargers two men down. This is an excellent opportunity for the Saints to make it a one-goal game. The officials give their signal. They keep moving McDonald back. And now he is set. Looks it down low to Reynolds. Here's McDonald up top to Douglas. Douglas, oh, the, sh the pass deflected. He had Reynolds curling. A beautiful defensive play by the Chargers when they're two men down. It's likely going to be too much as the Saints do get it back, but they're still over 20 on the clock. They need to go quickly, do the Saints. The pass inside on the doorstep. It's Burton, and he, oh, he should have just shot it. He lost possession. And Galinsky picks it up, gets it on over to Tommy Peer, who is decked. And Trace McDonald diving across the crease. Thought he had it, and it was a great opportunity. The Saints just pressing a little much here. The Chargers sideline almost on the field. They need to be controlled. That is a bit Bush League as many of them are actually on the field. And the game's not over. There's still 3.7 seconds left on the clock. 
Tensions are running high. If you're the Chargers, you want to celebrate. It's the first game of Peach Belt Conference play. I know you're excited. But you got to let the clock run out. So it will be Saints ball, but just about all she wrote with 3.7 to go here. And Huntsville will start off Peach Belt play at 1-0. And if you missed it, we did have an unnecessary roughness call against the Chargers. Once again, these penalties coming too little too late for the Saints. And that's going to end it. So the Saints dropped their first game in Peach Belt play by a score of 17-15. to A backbreaker there. It felt like they had control of this game from the second quarter on but the fourth quarter decisively went to the Chargers of Huntsville. So this is where we'll leave you folks. Flagler drops the 4-7, and 0-1 oh in conference play. Huntsville 1-0 oh in conference play. They are now 5-6 and six on the season as they celebrate on the Flagler turf. So we'll take a break here, but don't go anywhere, folks. We have the women's game coming up after this as they'll take on the pay or excuse me they'll take on lander with the first draw scheduled for just after three o'clock so we hope to see you there as well but for all of us here at flagler i'm kyle mccarthy once again the score 17 for huntsville flagler 15 until next time folks we say so long